Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be looking at the Terra Aerospace TM9X. Quick finishing pass, not too bad, and I'll probably do that. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. He's safe and fun, right? Here's the box that the Terra Aerospace comes in. Nice soft shell case that zips up. You notice that there's an owner's manual and lock. It's being retained by a little bit of Velcro. Let's get that out of there. Do a safety check for you really quick. Firearm is unloaded. The magazine is made out of steel construction and has a nice blued finish. You notice that it can carry 17 rounds in a magazine, plus one in the chamber gives you 18 rounds of 9mm. You get two extra magazines and you have three different sizes of back strap for small, medium, or large size hands, so you can better custom fit the grip to your hand. Terra Aerospace is better known for their aviation safety equipment and rescue systems, but they most recently got into producing this firearm. Now looking at the slide, you'll notice that it has front and rear slide serrations, you have three dot sights that are made out of steel, and you have some slide cuts that are very reminiscent of like a CZ P07. But looking at the top of the slide, if you notice, if I can get this in the light right, you'll notice that there's this little line that's just off center that goes from the front to the back. And I don't know how they're manufacturing these. I don't know if they're casting these slides or if they're using a metal injection mold or if they're using a steel 3D printing device. But if you know the answer, let it me know down in the comment section because I really think that's interesting. Looking at the frame, you'll notice that it's all polymer and it has this nice honeycomb texture. And you can see it's really aggressive on the front and the rear, but it definitely isn't hard on the hand. You'll notice that the magazine release is ambidextrous on the left and right side. You have a nice squared off trigger guard that is double undercut. You have a nice 1913 Picatinny rail right here, and you have some more honeycombing right here where you can rest your finger. You have the takedown lever right here and the slide release right here that are only on the left side of the pistol. You'll also notice that there is some nice stainless steel pins wherever there is a pin on this firearm. Now, you'll notice that there's no safeties or no decocker levers on this pistol because this particular pistol has the DARE trigger system, which is like a double action short reset trigger system that they have. You can also have a spear trigger system for one of these pistols, which is more like the safety lever in the center of the trigger, like a Glock. So looking at this trigger, obviously the pistol is unloaded. You have a kind of a heavy, long double action type pull. You'll hit the wall and then it goes off and then you reset should be, at least it's advertised, at three millimeters. There's your reset, and it goes. So, let's do a quick trigger pull test on this thing. So, I had to go grab my trigger gauge. So let's reset this, make sure it's in frame. So at least you can see how heavy the trigger is on that double action. And it looks like we got seven and just a little over a quarter, so yeah. Pretty heavy trigger on this, but that reset is really short, so that is kind of nice. So, let's take this apart and get a closer look at it. Now, if you're viewing this video on YouTube, unfortunately, they really don't like it, me showing you to how to take it apart and put it back together. So, if you're interested in seeing that, there's a link down in the description to Full 30, where there's an unedited version of this video. Let's take it out to the range and see what it can do.
So that's the TM9X from Terra Aerospace, made in Montenegro. Honestly, the pistol ran excellent. We put 250 rounds through it, no failures to speak of whatsoever. Two things to note, caution, the trigger is really heavy and there's a long pull on that first for the double action. And the slide release lever is really, really stiff, so it's almost better to just grip and rip the slide when you reload. Um, honestly, I've seen these pistols for $399 and that's a hell of a bargain. So that's really all I have to report. Remember that loose is fast, brakes only slow you down, and the Montenegrins make a great budget pistol. Remember to be safe, have fun on the range, and we'll see you next time.